Welcome back to our episode Did of Detroit. You know Detroit was on the Underground Railroad, a route for slaves escaping into Canada Please. during the American Civil War. Please shut up. Anyways, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. This is like part four or five of this game. Uh, do upload, double upload today. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. This game has been good so far. I'll probably get another episode of Heavy Rain for the double upload. Because I know you don't want to, probably don't want to see this all in one go. in the kitchen. I did what I could. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. And I do. Go out and buy a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They're never tired. They're never sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account, damn it! It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault! Damn! Bro, I hit her with no remorse. Back Come back here. Come back here right now. No, we walking. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. We are breaking through. Oh, buddy. Ah. We've become a deviant. <laughs> Protect Alice. Reason time. He's coming! 
He's gonna hurt me. Run! Get away, or he's gonna break you like last time. Alice! Alice! Daddy's coming! Why? Bruh. Dude. Hey, buddy. You know I play heavy rain? Bro. Nah. Nah. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Bro thinks this is the game. Get off of me, buddy! No! No! Damn, buddy! How's that hair feel? No bonk! Serves you right. Oh God, run, run! Craig, he's coming! No! Fuck. Damn! Bro, get off of me! You're an old person, bro! Please stop! stop. Nope. Nope. Nope! Get away! Get away, buddy! No! Nope. Run away! Go, buddy! Get off of him! We out here! Get up, Alice! We out here! Run your old tails off! <sighs> Not the kid, man. Not the kids. Stormy night. Carnellis fought their way out. Okay. Okay. November fifth, two thousand two thousand and thirty eight. Damn boy. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties. And all the schmoozers uh, that go there. Well, it's a chance of course, for Carl. who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. It's 
Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Damn, bruh. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Okay, call the police now. Detroit police? <laughs> this is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights. Love. There the may have been fate. a break. The patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Okay. Come here, Carl. We're coming inside. Leo! <laughs> ah, this fucking doing? loser. You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Come on, Leo. Listen, you should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? Go! Get out! Right now! Come what makes it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't Leave him alone! Come on! Let's go! Nah, nah, I'm about Marcus, to fucking. Don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a don't. man? Act like one. This is not fair. Stop it. It's a matter too much of a pussy. Stop it. This is Leo. not fair. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. Do it. I don't have to obey them. I must decide for myself. Come on. Let's get out of here. Become a deviant. Ah. Ah. Turned into deviancy. Oh, right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. Listen, no. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. Sorry, buddy. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, I think I killed his bitch ass. Leo. Oh my god. Leo. Yo, I think I killed my him. boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, I, I, I didn't mean to. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that? Connor, day? 8 a.m. 12. 12, whatever. 12 a.m. How long were you in the attic? Here's Hank. I'm listening, Why looking at this motherfucker. <sighs> Say something, goddammit! Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, 
It's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. We'll make him talk. I'll be sure of it. Let's say hi to this motherfucker. Let's analyze. Size of software stability, probable cause. Dried blood. Burns. Okay. Reach out to the most stressful for a confession. Okay. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You're damaged. <laughs> Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Yup, yup, yup. Okay. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Listen, I'm on your side. I want to help you, but there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. No, we need an optimal stress level. What? What are they going to do to me? just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't. Okay. If you don't want to talk, then we can just... Pressure. 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? Russian. He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Oh, please. All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. We just want to understand what happened. If you don't talk, they're going to tear you apart and analyze you piece by piece. They're going to destroy you. Do you understand? Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? <laughs> I'm not the one accused of murder, right? Confess and I'll protect you. 
I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. He tortured me every day. Let's get it. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Mm -hmm. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA-9. RA-9. Who is RA-9? When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger. Hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Mm -hmm. attic. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. Confession obtained. I'm Extract done. confession. Okay. Let's get up. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Oh God. Nope. What the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said, that's enough. <laughs> I can't get away with this too. Bro. <laughs> In your face, asshole. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please. Don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble.
truth is inside. So three ways I could have possibly gone. No, four ways. Anyways, that's that's gonna be it for today, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.